Today's the deadline for school districts to turn in their reopening plans to the state. A lot of districts are going with a hybrid plan where some days kids are on school and other days they're learning online. Onondaga County Executive Ryan McMahon has big concerns about those hybrid plans. He shared them in a briefing a short time ago. That's where News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan was taking notes, joining us live. Andrew, the county executive says hybrid plans. He's very concerned that this could create a child care crisis. It's probably the most critical we've seen a county executive throughout this pandemic, the most critical of, of any other entities work and planning in order to, to safely reopen. Uh, earlier this week on News Channel 9, I talked to Child Care Solutions. I visited a daycare to highlight this exact issue about how if kids have to stay at home on a day per week for the schools to be cleaned or two days additional per week for another group of kids to be in the classroom, the county executive is equally worried that there won't be enough people to watch those kids. Either the child care system will be overloaded or parents will have to quit their jobs in order to take care of their kids. So, yes, we did that story earlier this week on News Channel 9, not knowing that the county executive on Friday would have such impassioned concerns about that very topic. Here's what he had to say. Certainly, uh, I have grave concerns about some of the plans we've seen. The reality is these hybrid plans are more appropriate for an infection rate much higher. And in addition to that, nobody has answered the question, who's going to watch the kids? And we have to answer that question. And the districts specifically have that responsibility to answer that question to the residents and to us. The reason some school districts are doing this Monday, Tuesday in class, Thursday, Friday at home, and then the groups switch is because the state expects them to keep the desks six feet apart. Therefore, their classrooms can only fit about 12 to 14 kids. The county executive, though, says there's some wiggle room in that plan that the desks can be moved closer together as long as the students wear masks. So now the question is, will students as young as five years old in kindergarten be able to keep a mask on for several hours per day. That's one of the concerns I'm hearing from superintendents and teachers who will now not only have to teach school but enforce social distancing and mask wearing and hand cleaning. It's a big problem the county executives bringing up, but the problem schools are facing is equally as big. I know a lot of these superintendents have pulled long hours to get these plans submitted today. I'm sure they weren't necessarily expecting some negative big-time critiques from the county executive, Christy.